What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel. Today is going to be a part two of the interior restoration for the 95 Miata. So we did new carpet last week and it looks great. If you did miss the last video and you want to go check out the new carpet, I'll leave a link above for you guys to go check that out. But unfortunately, a lot of things need to be addressed on the interior. We have fading plastic trim, missing door handles, a missing hood cluster. There's no knee plate, which exposes a bunch of wires, which just looks really trashy. And the floor mats that are in it are super old and one's from a Range Rover, the other's from a Jaguar. It's all over the place. So we need to get straight with the interior, fix all the pieces that are missing and respray everything to make it look perfect again. So let's get started. So the first step right now, we'll remove the plastic parts and clean them up. So now that we got all of our pieces out of the car, as you can see, they're totally weathered by the sun. They started to oxidize, change to white, uh, some of it's stained black. The best that we can do is clean it up and spray it with this SEM color coat. Um, to be exact, the color is Palomino for the tan if you have a 95. Basically any Miata with a black and tan interior, I know for sure it's going to be the Palomino spray. Uh, as far as the full tan interior Miatas, I'm not 100%. You'll have to check the forums to look at the exact paint code that you guys need. But for us, it's Palomino. And then all the other black pieces, we have Landau Black. That's going to be your color right there and for your tan that's your color and i'll leave links for you guys below so right now we're just going to clean these up wash them off dry them off real good hang them up on the tree and spray them down all right so these are going to require about two to three coats most likely three we're going to do the big pieces first so we don't run out and in case we do the only pieces that are going to be not painted are the small ones So the first coat is all sprayed, let it dry 15 minutes and then we'll shoot them again a little bit heavier. All right guys, so we're done spraying all the pieces other than one, we kept one undone just so you can see the before and after. Look at that. That's before. And the after. It's a little bit lighter in tone, but the nice thing is, since we did everything, it doesn't really matter. Pretty happy with this. So now that everything's dry, we're gonna throw everything back into the car but we also got these nice new floor mats from Moss Miata. Not sponsored. Look at the difference. 30 years old. Ew, son. What? It smells nice and good. Like a brand new car. Like I work at a dealership. I see brand new cars all the time. This smells like a new Rover. And those look good. Much better. Look how nice those look. All right, so the previous owner removed the door handles. These are apparently really hard to find. Alina found a set on eBay. How much were they? 35 bucks. Pretty two. cheap. Grab the old screws from the old set of doors that we have in the back, and let's throw these in so we can actually close the door instead of closing it by the window. Give it a yank. 
Give her a yank. Oh man. I can close the door without having to grab by the window now. eBay handle, which is an OEM handle, just purchased off eBay, 10 out of 10. Very nice condition. This is sprayed and this is OEM. Basically identical. Yeah, looks good. Looks great. Let's go put it on the other one now. Why did he rip them out? Are they both gone? Yes. All right, we got these foot pedals for 30 bucks. Yeah, all three, they say Roadster on them. We actually use them for the blue Miata as well. Really nice Moss Miata. I'll leave a link below. Just wrap them around like so, and that's it. They don't slip or anything. There we go. That looks 10 times better already. So we finished up all the Miata's trim around here. It looks really, really good. Probably looks better in person, but pretty happy with it. Um, in this big box, classic gold, authentic reproduction, we have a new gauge hood. Brand new, no cracks. We'll put this in right now. All right, that looks great. Let's sit back and look at it all. So that about wraps it up for today's video. We got all the trim painted. We got little things like the floor mats and the foot pedals. Those things make a big difference to me because it just, when they're not there, it just feels like crap, but having them there now makes it feel a little bit more luxurious. The tan spray was perfect. Even though it is a little bit lighter, I actually prefer the lighter color versus the darker one because it matches our top. So that was a plus. The Landau Black worked perfectly for OEM black finish. I'll leave a link for everything that we put on the car down below just in case you wanted to change these parts out on your Miata. The one thing we weren't able to get on was this knee plate to cover up the rat's nest. Unfortunately, the previous owner, just like everything on this car, broke the tabs to actually mount them for the screw holes. But we're not putting that on because we have a steering wheel video that we have to film right now. We're running out of daylight. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you wanna subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for part three where we're gonna be replacing the steering wheel as well as part four and five where we change the seats and we get new seat belts. I guess that's gonna be all for the video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Take it easy.